Well, hey there, and welcome back to Heimler's History. Now, we'll be going through Unit 4 of the AP Government Curriculum, and in this video, that means it's time to talk about the ideologies of the two major political parties of America, the Republicans and the Democrats. So if you're ready to get them brain cows milked party style, well, then let's get to it. So in this video, here's what we're trying to do. Explain how ideologies of the two major parties shape policy debates. Okay, so that means before we start talking about individual parties, we need to understand political ideologies. A political ideology is an interlocking set of ideas that form the basis for political decision-making. And although what I'm about to say is a simplified version of reality, political ideologies basically fall along a spectrum between liberal and conservative ideology. Now, conservative ideology emphasizes traditional social structures and existing structures of authority. Conservatives tend to emphasize limited government and public affairs, strong stances on crime and punishment, and champion states' rights over federal power. Or to say it another way, conservatives look at what exists and say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Liberal ideology, on the other hand, emphasizes civil rights for the marginalized and supports the efforts of social justice movements to ensure that everyone has equal access to civil liberties. Additionally, liberals tend to emphasize government involvement in public affairs, which would include care for the poor and regulations on businesses and intervention in the economy. Or to say it another way, liberals look at what exists and says, uh, it is broke, so let's fix it. Now, there's a third ideology you should know, namely libertarian ideology, but we're going to look at that in another video. For our purposes here, we're just sticking to conservative and liberal ideology. Okay, let's turn the corner and talk about the two major political parties in America and how they align with the ideologies we just talked about. The Republican Party, often referred to as the GOP or the Grand Old Party, most closely aligns with conservative ideology. And the way that you know that is by looking at their party platform, which is a set of policy goals published by the party which tells you the kinds of legislation they would pursue should their candidate win an election. So if you look at the Republican platform, you can see conservative ideology dang near everywhere. Here in the section on the economy, they say, government cannot create prosperity though government can limit or destroy it. And that is a conservative belief. Get the government out of the economy, deregulate businesses, and let the free market take care of the economy. In the section on what a constitutional government should look like, they say this about the family. Traditional marriage and family based on marriage between one man and one woman is the foundation for a free society and has for millennia been entrusted with rearing children and instilling cultural values. So again, there you have conservative ideology reaching backwards to establish traditions and seeking to uphold them. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Additionally, the Republicans, when it comes to social programs, style themselves as the party of personal responsibility. So it's no surprise to see that reflected in their platform in the section about social welfare programs. By making welfare a benefit instead of an entitlement, our policies put millions of recipients on a transition from dependence to independence. And the Republicans also regard themselves as tough on crime. For example, they say, to honor the sacrifice of police officers, we recommit ourselves as individuals and as a party to the rule of law and the pursuit of justice. So I only gave you a sample of the platform, but you can see that Republicans generally hold to conservative ideology. Okay, now let's have a look at some of the examples of liberal ideology in the platform of the Democratic Party. And honestly, you really only need to look at the table of contents to see the liberal ideology in this platform. Look here and you see they want to level the economic playing field. They want to do that by ending poverty and breaking up corporate concentration. Here you have universal, affordable, quality healthcare, which would of course require significant government intervention. Under healing the soul of America, the Democrats want to fight for women's rights, LGBTQ plus rights, disability rights, indigenous tribal nations, etc. So just with the perusal of the table of contents, you can see the liberal ideology that animates the Democratic Party. But there's probably no better example of this in the platform than the preamble where it says, Americans believe that diversity is our greatest strength, that protest is among the highest forms of patriotism. In other words, it is broke, so let's protest and fix it. Okay, so you have a sense of how each party's platform is informed by either conservative or liberal ideology. But I need to say one more thing about all of this. Don't make the mistake of putting an equal sign between the Republican Party and conservative ideology or between the Democratic Party and liberal ideology. The reality, as always, is a little more complex. Some Republicans consider themselves conservative on some points, but more liberal on others, and vice versa with the Democrats. So you just need to get it in your mind the direction that each party leans, and you'll be fine as long as you remember that the party is not an exact synonym for the ideology. Okay, thanks for watching. Click right here to grab my review packet to get an A in your class and a 5 on your exam in May. No matter what ideology you subscribe to, I am here to help. So if you want me to keep making these videos, then by all means subscribe and I shall oblige. Heimler out.